Well, we continue our tour this morning of local businesses and how they're doing in these crazy times. We're in Ancaster here at the Olive Board, and they have some pretty good ideas for you to be playing the New Year's Eve home game. Happy to be joined by owner, Leanna. Good Hi. to see you. Nice, nice to meet you. Thank you. Uh, you. You talked to Justin Dunk. This is back in 2019 yes. at your other location yes. in Grimsby. Yes. When did you open in Ancaster? Uh, we opened August of this year. During, uh, yes, yeah, don't ask. That, <laughs> <laughs> that was a well thought out plan. Well, no, you're, we, still, we you're, were, you're still here, you're doing well, right? We are. Well, this was well in the works before all of this craziness happened and we just plowed along and here we are and we were doing wonderful, so it's good. How cute is this little box, right? And there's something about charcuterie. What is it about charcuterie that you connects with your clients, with your customers? Um, connects with all of us, you think? I think people just like the simplicity of it, and um, it's just, you. there's so many options and different things that you can um, take from it. We have, you know, different boards that people can choose from. So if you're feeling like one cheese, you choose one board. If you're feeling like a meat from a different, like people can pick and choose, they can add things to them. Um, it's just a simple way to eat. It's also one of those things, I kind of compare it to a salad. Like, any salad that I make is never good. When somebody else makes a salad, it's delicious, and I'm like, why don't I make, eat more salad, right? So let's kind of put it out on how you would put All it right. out there, or is there a technique no, how to doing a charcuterie there's, board? There's no technique. So when people order for curbside, this, this, is, what is, this is what they get. So they get it in a windowed box. Amazing. And some people eat it right out of the box, and that suits them fine. Other people want to put it on their board. Um, what I usually do, so if we're building a board, I'll tell you how kind of, I'll take out some of these little dressings. Now this is our holiday board, so it's a little more festive with the rosemary. Nice. Um, typically what we do is we start with grapes. And we'll put the grapes in, sometimes they fall nice, sometimes they don't. I kind of like having them so that they turn the best way, it just depends. You can Imperfection cut them. with charcuterie it, is kind of it's like the, the way. Best There's way to no do perfect it. way to lay it out. You don't have to have it look beautiful. Um, it looks, it ends up looking beautiful because it's meat and cheese. Then we give you all the toppings, so you can take the lids off so they don't go anywhere okay. um, when they're in the box. But then when you want to do it, so well, usually what I do is start. Is that's that cranberry. That is cranberry sauce. Yes, okay. this is our uh, holiday board. This is our house-made tapenade, our olives, obviously grapes which is, they're so pretty this time of year. Then what we'll do is I'll take the cheese, so we will place it around. So within um, the selection of boards, there's all the different, each board has different types so, of cheese? Exactly, so this one has, this is Niagara Gold, which is local. Yeah. That's just a uh, double cream brie, aged cheddar, um, and this is Borzen, which is gonna get a little oh, messy. Oh, Borzen. And this one is one of my favorites this time of year, and it's only available. So. There's no right or wrong way to, to, uh, to lay it out. Right. Um, we have a little bit of smoked sausage. And as you can see, I've taken kind of all the bits and pieces out. It'll fall how it wants to. Yeah. Um, and once you lay it out, it's, uh, it'll look pretty. Okay. Um, best way to, do you need to be calling ahead of time? What's the best way to, to um, book one of these boards for New well, Year's Eve and into January? For, right? well, we have our online ordering um, is just up and running. Okay. Um, and it, uh, you go to our website and then there's a curbside tab. Okay. So if you click on the curbside tab, you can pick Grimsby, you can pick Ancaster, um, and then you just follow the prompts and you can pay online and away it goes. Can we hang out for the morning? Sure. Okay, let's do that. We'll take a break uh, because they also have wine, right? And there's we nothing, sure there's nothing better, right? Like the pairing between this and that is scrumptious. Maybe I'll test my security skills and putting the board together. We'll there come you back go. to the Olive Board. Again, location here in Ancaster, but also Grimsby. Good morning, live. We are working on my charcuterie skills just in time for New Year's Eve. Home game here at the Olive Board in Ancaster, back with owner Leanna. And I've, I've watched the master do it in the first <laughs> segment of putting a charcuterie board together. And it is silly because... Not really a master. <laughs> <laughs> I love your honesty about it. <laughs> I'm not, and I, that, that, I, that I am honest about that. But there is something about this little box that comes in, and if you, and if you missed it, so this is, this is a perfect little box that you get everything in there. Because I've so many times, I've been sent to the grocery store to pick out stuff for a charcuterie board, and I stand in the meat aisle and just have that, gl that glazed look on my face, not knowing what to get. Well, there's so many options out or there. Or cheese, like the meat well, cheese, and cheese, cheese, right? Cheese alone is, is, is mind-blowing. Just you stare and look at it, and you're like, I don't know what to pick. Um, 
there's no right or wrong way to pick what how we design our boards and how we kind of change them we do it based on kind of a theme. So this one in particular is called our Bon Appetit board. So it's got a little bit of a French theme. So we've got some blue cheese. Okay. We have a mental, which is not French, but it's a harder cheese. That is our olive tapenade, which we make in house, which is very well loved. Yeah. Um, and then we, and this one also has brie uh, and it has some prosciutto, again, not French, and kibasa, again, not French. So okay. there's no right or wrong well, way to put Well, you've always sort of like with charcuterie boards, well, you gotta have a soft cheese, you gotta have a hard yeah. cheese, you gotta have a blue cheese. I mean, right? maybe there is. There could be a science out there that I've totally missed the boat on, but it's nothing that I know about. This is just how I've been doing charcuterie in my home for years and years and years. But, so, But I find like charcuterie has really taken off in the, in the past. I don't know, I five to ten years? I People, don't know. Like, I don't know. I mean, it's something that I've been doing for years and years. That's probably nice and ooey gooey there. Yes, that's what's um, great about brie though, yes. right? Yes. Um, but I do. I think people just love the concept and just love the, the, the options and the choices. And it's just fun. So yeah, our, bar, our boxes come the way you see them. And as you saw, uh, as you see, it's, it's exploding on the board. Right. Um, even though it maybe didn't look like it had as much in in the box, but it does. And I'm not putting anything anywhere. Like there's no, no rules, right? There's you can no add rules. A, you you, add you a, decorate it however house. you want, whatever. Because you show it sometimes at somebody's house, it's like, wow, how long does it take to do that, right? But and and some people do. Some people will spend and they want everything placed absolutely perfectly, and other times you can put it wherever you want. Okay, so how much would this be? Um, all our boards are $40, okay. so and they include all of the fixings that you see. So our crackers and our, our, our um, it comes breads, exactly like you're seeing in this exactly box. Exactly like you're seeing. So it has okay. the grapes and it has the the dips and the spreads and the and the um, uh, actually, you know what? There's one thing missing from this box, and that is my bad because my order hasn't come for tomorrow yet. Is pickles. Normally there's oh. gherkins. Normally there's gherkins in all of our boards too. But when you look at it, if you go to the grocery store and you wanted to to buy a number of things, you're buying too much anyways, and then it might just sit in the fridge. Well, this exactly. This is all you might need. And unless you're entertaining a large number of people, which these days no one seems to be doing that at or all. Or you shouldn't be doing. Or you shouldn't be doing it. And uh, this is it, these boards serve two to three people. So okay. for a couple to order, it, it's perfect. All right, uh, Grimsey location too. Right, and, and, and here in Ancaster, and best to go online if you're you looking for can, one of these boards for, you uh, can for go tomorrow on, night. Yes, you can go on to our uh, curbside ordering um, tab on our website and just choose Grimsby or Ancaster and the order will come right through. You pay for it and we'll have it ready for you whatever time you pick. Let's pair it with something tasty, maybe some bubbly perhaps. We'll do that when we come back to the Olive Board on Morning Life. We've put Angela to the test here. We asked her to open it on camera. Well done. <laughs> Back here at the Olive Board in Ancaster with Angela. Good Hello. to meet you. How are nice you? Nice to meet you too. Okay, what are you pouring here? Today I am pouring a classic example for a wine selection on New Year's Eve. This is a cava. I so, like your pouring abilities too. Look how full <laughs> that glass is. Yes! You can always pour for me. Awesome. So, what, so people that aren't familiar with cava. Yeah. Where's so, cava from? Cava is from Spain. And you're right, it is an overlooked style of sparkling. So what's great about this one is it's made in the champagne method um, versus a Prosecco, which is made um, in a, what they call Charmat, so in a tank. And the difference with that, you're getting a lot more complexity here, a lot more, um, you know, just earthier aromas. It's not overly sweet, which people love, and well, it's great with- Prosecco gets so much love, and it's great too, but this is something that's a bit of a hidden gem. Yeah. And, and especially, I don't know, New Year's, open something special. Yeah. That would be uh, a good idea. So if you missed the first two segments, uh, all aboard. They're selling charcuterie boards in these little cute little boxes that you can do curbside. But you can be doing, if we're looking at positives from this year, you can be serving some wine as well. Oh, yes. Right? Uh, take us through some of the selections that you've kind of chosen for us here, uh, Angela. Of course. Yeah, and just as you said, uh, with having curbside during this time, you are able to get all of these wines on our menu. Um, we're also doing a 20% off promotion for our wines. Amazing. So with the curbside purchase, you can get one of these beauties. Um, is there some wines, like, I, I prefer red with the, yeah. with the charcuterie. Like, what's, what's your thoughts? Like, what do you like? Well, the great thing about our wines, too, our reds especially, they're quite versatile. We have a lot of extended um, wine lists regarding where they're from. So here we have some from Napa. We have um, a beautiful Barolo from Italy. We gave, uh, we gave Kurt and, uh, and Heidi a little shout oh, out yes, from our friends at course. Fielding too, right? Because yep. you, you, you do some local, but you're also you, you're around the world. That's right. Yeah. A little bit from everywhere. 
Yes. What's, what's this one here? I know you were excited about this. Zola. Yes. So this is our Zola. And she's Zola. A, Zola. She's a Primitivo from Puglia, Italy. Um, uh, sorry, Primitivo is Primitivo. a fun one. It's the Italian version of Zinfandel, so it's a big, bold red. Um, and reds are fantastic with cheeses because they not only have really nice acidity that cuts through the fattier cheeses like the brie um, or even the prosciutto, but that bold tannin. So that dry mouth feeling goes lovely with the, the fattier cheeses and meats, which of course is the best part of charcuterie. Is your wine selection on the website? It will be. It will be, okay. Yes. Because yep. if, you're, if you're interested in, uh, if you're on there getting a, um, the olive board and then uh, they can order a, a bottle of wine too, right? Yep. For, for curbside pickup. Here's the Ancaster location or in Grimsby too. That's right. And right. if you do have any questions, uh, we're on the other end of a phone line and right. happy to answer that as well. So. We have these beautiful glasses of cava here. I think they do need <laughs> tears. Uh, we got one more segment with Angela. Well, maybe we'll build another Jeez. charcuterie board as we're celebrating what well, we're saying. Bye bye 2020 and uh, ringing in uh, 2021 on Morning Live. I can't get no relief. All right, our last stop here at the Olive Board, uh, where you can get one of these awesome looking charcuterie boxes, here in their Ancaster location or in Grimsby. So I created a board, owner Leanna created a board, now it's Angela's turn. Now What's uh, What board do we have here, Angela? So this here is our Canadian board. Um, it's actually one of our most recent boards and because of the popularity over the summer we've kept it stationed on the menu. I've never put this is like uh, Montreal oh, yeah. smoked meat. Right? Oh yeah. I've never put that on a charcuterie. It's a game but again changer. that goes back to like our discussion that you can be putting whatever you want on there right? Exactly um, and what's really fun about this one is all of of course the Canadian elements. So we have some honey here, um, Montreal smoked meat, Candy bacon. Oh, whoa. So this, okay, let's see that. This, I honestly think, is what gets everyone on page with that. It's just the word bacon. <laughs> well, yeah, you had me with bacon, and then you add some candy to it. That's right. It's a great recipe. What's the, um, is this Niagara Gold right here? That is. So that's Niagara Gold. It's um, from Upper Canada. Uh, cheese. Great local spot. Exactly, right. in Niagara. So it's nice of that local flair, which is definitely a lot of, um, on people's fr front of mind right now, just yeah. with uh, supporting locals. So it's a great opportunity to do that for folks. This one for cheese curds, huh? Oh yeah. Right. <laughs> it is so good. You know, the only time I see cheese curds is with poutine. Right? So they, why not throw it on the board? It is definitely, um, it's, a, it's a game changer again. They're just really great to nibble. It's a yeah. nice little additive to the board, so. Uh, where does the olive board name come from? Like, obviously, there's olives involved, right? But it's, there's, there's, it's more than that. Exactly. I'm glad you asked that. So what's really cool is, um, especially here at the restaurant when you dine in, um, all of our, funny enough, all of the boards <laughs> come you, to your look table. Look at you puns. <laughs> nice you're plug stealing, there. You're stealing Caraman Luke's job. <laughs> <laughs> so all of our charcuterie comes out on olive boards. So this is actually from an olive tree. Um, so it's just a nice touch in there. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece of wood. Um, and that was, that was one thing that the owner, Leanna, definitely uh, wanted to bring, bring through the, the whole brand. you hear people, like when they're getting the boxes, are they actually taking it out of the boxes or just eating it in the box and, and presenting it on a board like this? So that's what's so great about this is the box is so beautiful, you, you have the option you don't to have do to, both. You, you don't have to do that. That's right. But what I love about bringing it out of the box is just like watching it expand. You know, there's so much in here you yeah. get. And, Putting it on your board at home just makes it a little more um, friendly, I guess is the word, easier to access for um, you and your, your date night at home. Okay. Uh, okay, so let's focus on tomorrow night because I'm assuming a lot of people are gonna be doing the home game, right? Because we should be doing the home game. Uh, if they want one of these awesome looking boards, just head to the website is the best thing or give you That's guys right. a call. Like, is there a preference? Either or. Yeah, we either do or. have our curbside online ordering up and running. So okay. head to the website. We have the curbside tab there and it's just easy peasy from there. Right. Um, when we do get, oh, look at that honey cup <laughs> cracker. Nice shot there, eh? Mm, yummy. <laughs> uh, and if we ever do get back to opening, which will hopefully be soon, you do have some outdoor dining that we didn't tackle this morning, but that's, that's right. an, another option here in the Ancaster Yep, and location. that will be um, a thing going forward. We're okay. always going to bring those back. Amazing. Nice so. meeting you. You too. Thanks, Leah. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Uh, happy New Year's. Happy okay. New Year. Happy charcuterie, everybody. Good morning, life.